You're listening to the Law of Attraction Radio Network. International success coach and noted author, Constance Arnold, delivers life-changing strategies through her own spiritual practices, as well as with best-selling authors and experts that she interviews. Think, Believe, and Manifest is specially designed to empower your mind and words to work for you and to bring about a life you've been dreaming of. And now, here's Constance Arnold. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Law of Attraction Radio Network. And of course, you know who I am. I am Constance Arnold, host of the Think, Believe, and Manifest talk show on the Law of Attraction Radio Network. I am so excited that you have joined me today. And, you know, I can truly say with all of the faith that's on the inside of me, you better get excited because guess what? Your life will never be the same again. Well, I hope that you are doing well or or as I say every week that you're making a decision to create just a powerful day. You know, every day, no matter how I feel, I always say that this is the day that God has made. I'm going to rejoice, be grateful, be excited uh, during this day. And some days I may not even really feel it, but I make a decision to do so anyway. Well, I am coming to you from Hotlanta and boy, has it been hot? <laughs> I know I got a tan, but I'm getting more of a tan. It's been uh, just really hot summertime and the living is easy. And I don't know what the weather is like where you are. But like I said, no matter what the weather is, you can also just make a decision. Everything begins with the decision to create a great day. I was coaching one of my clients in Australia and it was so funny. I had on my short sleeves tank top and she she was wrapped up in a blanket. She said, Constance, it's winter time in Australia. And that just shows you the vastness of the universe and God. Well, I have my friend on today, Peter Adams. He has a new book, The Seven Master Keys for Success with Deliberate Creation. So we're just going to get right to that. Uh, I just want to remind all of you to go to my website, fulfillingyourpurpose.com. Check out my coaching. I'm coaching people on five continents. And boy, are they getting remarkable manifestations. If you did not listen to my show last week with Kathleen from California. Hey, that kind of rhymes, doesn't it? Kathleen from California, where she manifested her dream job. It didn't happen overnight. Uh, It didn't happen in one month, two months, but it took her six months. But now she is living out her dreams. So would love to partner with you if you are ready to do the work, if you are ready to put in the time and effort and you're and you're ready to make the investment within yourself. Hey, then I'm ready to work with you. So you can email me at Constance at fulfillingyourpurpose.com. Also remember, I have over 500 are archived. I got that out. Podcasts that you can listen to. And you know, when you click on the LOA Radio Network.com, just click on my beautiful picture, at least I think so. And then you can listen to me via iTunes, iHeart, Blog Talk, what else? Tune in, Stitcher. So many vehicles are there for you. You can just take me with you everywhere you go. Uh, I remember uh, one of my listeners, uh, he said that he was listening to me so much that when his wife would come downstairs as he was drinking his coffee, he would have me on listening to me. And she would say, good morning, baby. Good morning, Constance. And I just thought that was so funny because he just saturated himself with the Think, Believe and Manifest talk show. So I think that's it. Hey, guys, let's go to these quick commercials and then I'm going to be right back with Pete Adams. Are you planning a motivational or training event for your company or organization? Look no further. Constance Arnold is an experienced, dynamic, and inspirational speaker and trainer. Constance has helped thousands and has a proven track record of 25 years as a keynote and leadership trainer for both private and public sector. Constance provides the latest cutting-edge breakthrough transformational principles that will align with your organization's vision. Participants will receive specific how-tos for both personal and professional empowerment. 
contact Constance and partner with her to begin creating your next successful event. Her website is www.fulfillingyourpurpose.com and email is Constance at fulfillingyourpurpose.com. Are you feeling stuck? Are you ready to live a life beyond your wildest dream? Constance Arnold is a seasoned and experienced professional licensed counselor for 25 years and a certified success life coach and would love to partner with you to create your dreams. She's coached and trained over 10,000 clients on five continents and has a proven track record of success. Constance will assist you in getting a clear vision for your life and develop customized strategies, projects, and action steps to begin manifesting your dream. Contact her today at Constance at fulfillingyourpurpose.com and visit her website at fulfillingyourpurpose.com. Hey guys, I'm back uh, with my dear friend, Pete Adams. I just want to give him a pop proper introduction. He didn't want me to, but I'm going to do it anyway, right? It's my show. Uh, Pete Adams is a philanthropist and he's both a master and teacher of the law of attraction and manifestation. He has studied all of the great teachers of all times and he's taking all of the specific techniques and he has successive successfully used them to create miracles in his own life. Uh, he has been an, a full-time entrepreneur since 2004. He's an author and a teacher. And so now his whole spirit and heart is just to share the how-tos of the specific tools that you can take and implement into your own life so that you can begin to create miracles. He's been married to his wife, Robin. Of course, y'all know Pete married up, right? They've been married for, they're happily married for 30 years and they spend their time just enjoying a very active life all over the world. And I can say that Pete has a wonderful spirit for him. It is all about giving back, sharing, etc. And we are so excited about his new book. So Pete Adams, welcome back to the Law of Attraction Radio Network. Wow, what an introduction, Constance. Uh, I'll try to live up to it. I uh, really, really, I'm really fortunate and very happy to be back on your show. And um, I just want to, you know, start off with the uh, let the listeners know that um, I don't think Constance has ever told you guys this, but uh, she actually pays for her show. So she does this out of her heart and out of her own wallet to serve you guys. And uh, what I want to do this time, which is a little unusual is uh, she won't actually say this herself, but I'm going to say it for her. And uh, I want all of you guys to uh, go to her Donate Now button. Uh, and what I want to do for you, for, for you guys today is, uh, for people living in the, in the United States, if you'll donate $20 to the Constance's show, I'm going to give you the Seven Master Keys, um, my new book, uh, and I'm going to have it personally autographed and personalized to you and um if you'd like instead to have the our book visual festation again for twenty dollars we'll send you a hard copy of the book again personalized and autographed by myself and uh, if you want to do both of those uh we can do we'll do two for 30 and again that's from the united states and that includes shipping so that's a really a heck of a deal uh i'm very proud of the, the both books and i think you guys are really going to get something out of both of them and also for our international listeners because um, I can't, I really can't send the books um, overseas. It's just crazy, crazy difficult. Uh, but we ha do have the audio book already recorded. And if you donate to again fifteen dollars this time to Constance's show, uh, we'll give you the audio book uh, as as a, as a gift. Well, actually, not as a gift, but really as a gift to uh, Constance. So, uh, just you know, open those wallets up, guys. Help Constance up because she's been doing an incredible job, and um, you guys are getting a deal. That's for sure. Uh, well, Constance, anything else on that? <laughs> you know, son, you just took over my show. I didn't know you were going to do that. And, and you know, I I appreciate you doing that because I do have to pay to be on the different networks, on the Law of Attraction, on Blog Talk, on Stitcher, and and so. Um, and, and I do ask for donations, but that's so generous of you, Pete. I really appreciate that. 
well, it, you, you do a great job, Constance, and I know you're changing lives all over the world. And I get emails from listeners off of your show, and it's it's what you what they've been able to do through listening to your show is just remarkable. And um, and you're just a blessing to us all. Well, you know, and I don't talk a lot about it just to be real honest and vulnerable up front is because I know there's a lot of hustling going on on the Internet. But I'm just a firm believer, a believer in the principle of if somebody is feeding your soul and nurturing you, that's where I plant my financial seed. And so all I can say to you and Robin is thank you so much. And so when you guys go to fulfillingyourpurpose.com, you hit the donate button and then I'll send your email to Pete and Robin and then they'll get you the books. Perfect, Constance. So, that sounds great. Can I, can't, I can't wait to, uh, I know, I was going to say, let's, I, guess, I guess I better order a truckload of books. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, thanking you guys in advance for making your donation. So, Pete, you have a new book out. Of the seven keys for success with deliberate creation and um, I remember when you started writing it you said Constance a source is downloading to me a new book and I'm really excited about it so let's get started and share with listeners about it okay sounds great Constance. Okay. yeah you, you're right on the as far as the the writing of the book went it was kind of like Basically, the spirit was just, you know, moving my, my hand because I would start writing, and before I knew it, it was like three hours later, and I had no idea. And uh, some of the stuff that's in the, the new book is uh, it's it's really built built upon uh, what we taught in Visual Festation, uh, but it's uh, over the past seven years since I wrote Visual Festation, I've grown spiritually dramatically. Yeah. So uh, a lot of the new, new insights I have, I share in in the new book, The Seven Master Keys for Success with Deliberate Creation. So why did you write a new book? Did, did you feel like that you had received so many upgrades you wanted to share more with people? I know you have a passionate desire for other people to create miracles in their own lives. Well, that's, ex that's actually exactly how it really worked, Constance. The, um, I, I, since I wrote that first book, I've just had some incredible, as you would call them, downloads from spirit. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems like the more I teach uh, on the law of attraction, uh, the more information that is basically shared with me by spirit. So a lot of the stuff is uh, – it's – it's it's really cool, but it's, it's also very, very deep. So for, for the folks out there who have not already read my book, Visual Festation, uh, you can listen to it for free on our YouTube channel called Visual Festation. And I highly recommend you, that you read our first book before you um, buy the, the second book because you really need to get um, a base before you move on to more advanced material. Okay, so how is your, how's this book, The Seven Keys for Success with Deliberate Creation, different from Visual Festation? Well, the the biggest thing I, I would say, Constance, is I really start getting into what, you know, I deem my human experience. Mm -hmm. And Visual Festation, I really um, basically shared miracles that I manifested in my own life using the Visual Festation techniques and um, our Visual Festation system. And essentially, I wrote it for everyone and anyone in the world because I remember when I started out, uh, when I was a kid, I started working construction and I was in the military, and I was never exposed to any of these concepts. And I wanted to make it simple enough so that anyone in the world could pick up this book, Visual Festation, read it, understand it, and implement the changes uh, and the techniques that I teach to change their lives and manifest the life of their dreams. And in the new book... Um, it's what's really happened, Constance. I've really gone from um, I've gone from like law of attraction, which is kind of like where the visual festation is. Then I really got into deliberate creation, where I realized that we, each one of us creates our own reality, and I it's really really deep. Uh, but I've proven it, and that's where the deliberate creation part comes through: is that the fact that I create my reality. And my reality is wonderful, and we all have that ability, and that's what I teach in these seven master keys for success. Okay, so you moved away from the law of attraction to deliberate creation. So law of attraction means that you – is the law of attraction general, and you're trying to manifest something, whereas deliberate creation is on purpose. Break that down a little bit for me. 
Sure, I love two constants. The um, it's really not moving away from the law of attraction. It's really just moving up the food chain in the law of attraction. And because one 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 of the things you need to get confident in in and competent in as well is you once you start manifesting um, miracles in your life, all of a sudden you're going to have this incredible confidence. And realization that you can create anything you desire, but you really have to start off like we constantly says with baby steps. Mm -hmm. So it's like if if you jump right to deliberate creation without having the the foundation and the confidence and the faith that that comes from working with the law of attraction for numerous years, and it's just a little bit more difficult to get your your mind around what you're trying to accomplish. Well, what you you desire to manifest, pretty much. So it's once you already have that confidence, you're at that level of being a deliberate creator, and you are basically a manifesting machine. It's like you set your goal, set your intentions, and it shows up, and it shows up all the time. And that's, once you get there, you've, you've got it made, because now you realize there is nothing you cannot be, do, or have in your experience. And from that standpoint, you're uh, you're unstoppable, and that's kind of where... I am right now through working with the law of attraction for essentially the last 18 years every single day. So uh, if you do that, you put that kind of commitment in and we're going to get into the master keys, um, you'll have the same success I've had or greater. And I look forward to hearing what your miracles. Yeah. So people really getting into the flow of it. It's like they get into a flow of energy, a flow of a certain vibration and deliberately creating their lives. And, you know, and and so, Pete, I know that you're not just talking this, you're living this. So you talk about belief driven experiences. So so what do you mean about that? What does that mean? Break that down. Okay, great. It's like I'll try to, um, you know, I'll go I'll try to go down the rabbit hole slowly, I should say. And um, essentially, everyone, the um, what do you think believe to be true is, is actually what your reality is. So it's like if you feel think as though you're a failure or whatever, well, that's going to show up in your experience, and uh, it's gonna. It, that's just how it works. It's like whatever you believe, you get. So you know, have great beliefs about how successful you are and how happy you are, and it's got. That's what your life is going to, to reflect back to you. And if you go the the wrong way and say, you know, things aren't good, they're getting worse. Well, what's going to happen is exactly that is going to happen. You're going to get what's bad and you're going to get more of it and that's just how the system works so it's it's very complex but if you can just understand that your beliefs are driving your reality and by changing your beliefs you can change your reality so it's like if you don't like what's showing up all you need to start doing is working on your beliefs and your reality is going to change for the better and once you realize that you'll be sharing it with your family and friends and teaching them how to do it so it's all about beliefs and Pete people can moment by moment choose what they believe feel or think exactly and you know a bit and a big part of that too is the uh, is when you put your emotions behind those beliefs mm-hmm. uh, it's even more powerful so it's like if you want you, you can get the good stuff really fast or you can get the bad stuff just as fast it's all it's all up to you and no one, no one can change your beliefs except yourself and so if a lot of us have a lot of limiting beliefs um, that we don't even realize we have it's just, it's almost like Everyone else has been talking about negative things, and all of a sudden, you take negative for being the default setting when it doesn't need to be. You know, it's like it's really up to you. And you know, listen to what you say to yourself. Listen to your what you think about yourself and your reality, and it, and take take charge. Think success because you can have anything. Trust me, you, you honestly can. And so for listeners all over the world, this is great news. This is good news. It doesn't happen overnight. It may not happen over a couple of months. But like Pete said, and like, you know, I'm, I say to you all of the time, if you will make a commitment to this transformation, you know, you got spirit, you got angels, you got 
the favor of God. You got all of these forces that will come and support you and assist you in just really living a, a life by design. Oh, that was perfect, Constance. Exactly. By design, <clears throat> not by default. Everyone else is running on default. And mm -hmm. that's why there's so many people in the world that are, that are unfulfilled, they're unsatisfied, they're not happy, and they don't know why. But the, the reason why is, it's like they're not doing what they should be doing. They're, they're settling and instead of like not settling and going for what they desire. You know, you, you came here to live the life of your dreams, and uh, it's up to you to do it. And if you don't feel good, if you're not happy, or your health isn't so hot, well, it, those are all signs from spirit saying, hey, you know, you need to change this thing up. Yeah, you know, a great example of that is why uh, one morning I woke up this week, and I was just feeling, oh, and I'm just feeling kind of yucky, and I knew what it was. I had a... Uh, the previous day, I had a very intense day, Pete. It was very busy. And I just woke up. And, and, you know, those first moments when you first wake up. And even though I was feeling grateful and, and grateful for everything, I, I was feeling kind of yucky. You know what I mean, Pete? But then I made a decision. Oh, yeah. I'm like, okay, Constance. Okay, girlfriend. I talked to myself. You can either default to these feelings or you can design your day. I jumped up out of the bed. I went and got my notebook that I had been studying from. from. I got my Bible. I start reading scriptures and speaking affirmations out loud. And I said, I'm going to intentionally design my day. And that's exactly what I did. That's a great example for listeners of how I had to make a decision what I wanted to deliberately create that day. And that's exactly what I did. That's a small baby example, but you can do that with anything. Well, Constance, that's a, that's an excellent example because it's it's that it really is that simple when you break it down. It's just, you know, are you gonna are you gonna have a good day? Or are you gonna have a bad day? It's up to you, and it's and it starts right from the get go when you get out of bed. And just like Constance said, she, you know, she made a deliberate choice to. Be happy and have a good day and not get stay in the rut. And I, and I had a perfect example of this this morning, actually, Constance. I uh, went out to the, the grocery store <clears throat> to get some bagels. And um, and this, I went by a lady. She's a young lady. She's probably around 30 years old. And she, I could tell she was just frustrated just by, you know, how her body language and the look on her face. And I'm like, it was like 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, and I just felt bad for her because... I looked at her and I knew that she was not going to get out of that that state. And she was, probably, you know, starting off her day at eight in the morning. She's already like about, you know, about to go homicidal on people. And uh, and it's just like it doesn't need to be like that. You can snap your fingers and get out of it because you know you decide who who how you think. No one else can do that for you. You might blame somebody else. You know, you might get angry. Uh, and say it's all their fault, but really, it's like it's your decision. You know, it's, if you let people control your states, and the, the, you're gonna be unhappy because you're gonna get manipulated, and, and you're gonna be at the the whims of other people instead of you know basically being the captain of your own ship. You know, you control your state. You it's it's all it's all your reality. And you know how what do you want to create? Do you want to create? you know, tension and stress, or do you want to create joy and happiness? It's completely up to you. Wouldn't you agree, Constance? Yeah, and let me just make a statement. You know, I know some of you might be in really difficult situation. If you're a single mom making minimum wage, you have three children, maybe you're divorced, the pressures of, you know, just daily life, what you have to do financially, emotionally, and psychologically. So I'm not in any way downplaying that particular circumstance that you're in, but I'm just saying to you that no matter where you live and what circumstance you're in, you can moment by moment begin to say, things are going to change for me. Uh, things will happen for me. Things are going to open up for me. And then gradually begin to move more uh, specific into what you want. And so no matter how much pressure is on you, you can begin to moment by moment begin to shift your focus. It's not easy, but you can do it. Right, Pete? <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely. And, you know, and 
yeah, it's it's not going to be it, it. It may or may not be easy. It's um, yeah, you're but right. it's it's just one of those things that you know if you tell yourself it's hard, it's going to be hard. But uh, and for you know wherever you wherever you are wherever you are right now in your life, um, it's it's a place to to go from. And mm -hmm. you know if you start focusing, you know you might have some crazy challenges. I you know I know those people out there who have extraordinary challenges. I'm yeah. not playing that down. But what I'm saying is, if you do what Constance says and start affirming that things are getting better, by golly, they're going to get better for you. Mm -hmm. And if you do the opposite, it's like it's bad and getting worse. Well, I got news for you. You know, I'm not a fortune teller, but your life is going to get worse. That's just how the system works. And these are laws that Constance and I are talking about. These, are, you know, it may seem simple: change your thoughts, change your life. Uh, but that's how the whole system works. You know, and really quickly, Pete. You know, I had a client, and she was in oh, boy, she was in dire straits. And 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 the only thing she could begin to believe is, I believe things are going to get better. I don't know how, but I believe things will change for me, uh, for the better. And she started off with that. And then the next week, she added something. Oh, I believe things are going to get better for me, and 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 uh, opportunities will open up for me. I don't know how. And so she added on to that gradually. And what was she doing? She was shifting her beliefs, Pete, like you said, her thinking, her emotion, and her feelings around that. And she came up out of that. And her that life was a wonderful. That's a wonderful story. Class, I remember the um, not to go back in way back in history, but I remember the first time I was on your show. Mm -hmm. I don't. I think it was maybe 2011 or 2012. But anyways, I remember that lady from London who sent me an, an email, and I emailed her visual festation because she was international. Mm -hmm. And in a week, she went from having this horrible life, hating everything. Um, be, it was just her, her life was was tough let me just put it that way yeah and within a week she had manifested a new is her life changed within a week it was unbelievable so you know what no matter how bad it looks right now in seven days from now it could be completely different Absolutely. and completely amazing and miracles happen all the time this is you, you you can create miracles and that's what the new book's about you can absolutely create miracles in your own life and you know it's you're the miracle machine, and I'm just trying to help you re um, remind you of that fact. Thank you for sharing that. I forgot about that story, Pete. And, you know, for listeners, you know, God accelerates things. It's your thinking. I mean, there have been times in my life where I've said, you know, I need a miracle now, you know, abundance now, wealth now. And, you know, I just begin to call it into my life. And like Pete said, it doesn't have to take a long time. Wow, this is so good. So, Pete, I know you talk a little bit about the grid and deliberate creation. What do you mean by that? Okay, this is um, <coughs> excuse me, Francis. This is one of those uh, things that came to me. Mm -hmm. um, actually, uh, about three years ago, um, I went up to North Carolina for six months, and it was I was in the middle of the mountains, and there was no distractions at all. And I did a series of meditations that really changed the. Um, it really changed the way I look at our, our complete reality and manifesting and manifesting miracles. And the grid thing came to me in a meditation. And essentially, we've all heard in the Bible that, you know, it's done. It's all been created. Mm -hmm. And um, in the real world, it's it has all, it's all created. It's all there. And it's all just, on you know, on, in the unseen. <clears throat> and what we do is we actually, with our, our vibration and our thoughts and our feelings, we basically bring it forward into our reality. So it's really there. You don't see it. And then it, can, and then it pops in. And it pops in when you make that vibrational connection that's a match to whatever you desire. So, so you get in the state that, you know, I'm wealthy, I'm successful, and you live it from that spot. Well, you're setting up the perfect match, vibrational match, and that's what – that's how it shows up in your reality. And the way it was um, shown to me when I was meditating was it was almost like there's, you, there's like these energy meridians that are all oh, – you don't see them, but they're out there all over us. And when you make the connection, it's like it's like basically you know hitting a spark on the, on the grid, which creates the um, – basically the manifestation of whatever you've been working on. And uh, it was – 
so beautiful because it starts off kind of with where you're moving up the grid. So in this experience, you know, you're doing a lot of attraction. <clears throat> you're bringing something into your experience that you desire. Uh, but when you move higher up in vibration, like, like some of the constants where her whole thing is about how can she make the world better for everybody else? And that is the, the, uh, the next level up. And, you know, that's, that's divine. And what happens is you'll see that the more that you do, you give and do for others, the more miracles you're going to have showing up in your life. And it's, uh, it's basically a win-win situation. So, um, Get in the right vibration and, you know, have the stuff. This stuff will show up in your experience. Trust me. I, I wrote two books on the, on the stuff and I'll write another one. And so, Pete, you know, <laughs> so if somebody is sending out the vibration of, you know, more abundance is coming to me, more opportunities are coming to me, they send that out, then that vibration over time will pop into the reality of their life. Exactly, exactly. And one of the things, I know I've used this analogy on different shows with you, Constance, but just imagine, guys, that you're, you know, it's like every day, it's it's just like you're on a fishing charter and you're holding a fishing rod and there's a giant marlin on the end of it. Well, if you keep reeling that reel every single day, which is what you're doing with it, you know, you no know success is coming to you, you're, you're feeling successful now, it's just a matter of time before it shows up. Well, before you know it, that marlin, Marlon's going to be in the back of the boat ready to get loaded in, and that's your miracle. So it's just like stay with it because the biggest mistake I see all the time with new people who are new to the law of attraction uh, is they have this idea that if I do this for six days and seven nights and it, if I don't get whatever the heck I'm trying to manifest, then this stuff just doesn't work. Yeah. And that could be – it could not be anything further from the truth. And um, I'm not sure why so many people, you know, suffer from what I call microwave popcorn syndrome, where it's just like, you know, the thing is jiffy pop. (laughs) Microwave popcorn syndrome. Exactly. I mean, some of the stuff that, you know, I manifested, um, some of the stuff took years. Yeah. Like the um, the, the third, the chapter in my first book, Visual Festation. I mean, the Vision House, that took like four or five years. Yeah. But here's the, here's the thing. I, I hear this from other people. And they're like, well, I don't have three or four years. Well, it's like, is three or four years better than, like, never? I, I think so. Uh, so, you know, do the work. It's like, you know, you, you create your reality. And if, it's, uh, if you don't like what you're seeing, well, it's time for you to you know, make some changes and uh, change your beliefs and um, change your world. Yeah, and we get into the first master key, but I feel like we need to talk about all this, Pete. You know, and if people, you you talked about reeling in the fish, and a part of reeling in the fish is being happy and grateful along the way, because you know, eventually, if you're consistent about reeling it in, you will get the manifestation of it. And so I think a lot of people are waiting to be happy once the manifestation comes, and that might be why they are so frustrated. Conscious, that's oh, – I'm surprised I didn't say that myself already. Yeah, that's ex- that is exactly how it is. And it's – there's nothing worse than people who are like, well, I'll be grateful when my, my miracle shows up, but, but until then, I'm going to be miserable. Well, guess what? It's not going to show up. I hate to tell you that, but right. that's how simple it is. If, you know, if, you're not, if you're not grateful for what you have now, you're, you're not going to get more. You're going to get less. Yeah. That's, you know, that's gra- you know grat- right. and gratitude is like, you know, uh, probably one, it's absolute, it's the last master key, but honestly, it's it's one of the most powerful that you can imagine. So and true. Once you have gratitude, yeah, once you have, gra- you know, have gratitude now. Just remember that. Gratitude now. It's Because well, once you, you're grateful for the miracle, even though it hasn't manifested into your experience yet, but you're, gr- you're grateful now, well, it's like hitting the accelerator because it's going to show up as fast as it, you, as you can imagine. It's yeah, awesome. To, okay, so Pete, we get into these seven master keys. What's the first master key? Okay, the first mass key constant is decide. And this is one of those things that most people have really never done. And that is, you know, what do you really, 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 really want to live, to experience in this, in this life experience, this reality? And most people, if you ask them, you know, what that would be, they have no idea because they've actually, they've honestly never thought about it. And it's almost like people just kind of, 
just kind of bump along in life. They don't really decide what they desire to you know be, do, or have. And that's why one of the big reasons why you know pe- people don't get anything is because yeah, you know, how can you get what you don't even know what you when you don't even know what the hell you want? I mean, it's kind of crazy, but that's you know that's most of the world. It's like. I don't know what I should be doing. Well, if you don't know what you should be doing, well, let me t- tell you how to get started. You know, meditate, meditate on that, and figure out what it is that you love to do more than anything, and that's what you should be doing. You know, it's like if you go to a, a nine to five job in corporate or whatever, and every day is misery for you. And I been, trust me, I've been there. I I used to work in corporate. I hated it, and uh, and leaving corporate was one of the best things that ever happened for me. And, um, you know, I, and my happiness is, you know, through the sky now. And every day is just wonderful. But I remember what it was like when it was like, uh, it was like the opposite of wonderful. It was like wonderfully lousy. If that's, you know, if that makes any sense. But, uh, you know, just, you know, figure out what it is you, you really want to be, do, or have. And from there, once you know what you want, figure out why you want it. You know, and if the answer is, well, because it pays more money, well, that's probably not a good enough reason. You know, if it's the, the reason comes through, it's like, I, cause I love doing it. It's my passion. Well, then you're onto something and, uh, yeah. and make the, so think, you know, figure out what it is you really want to do and, and know why you want to do it. And that'll give you the momentum to stay with it until it manifests in your life. You know, we're moving on to key number two, but but I just want to make a comment, you know, and you don't have to know the how is this going to come to pass. You just decide I want to live a a peaceful life of a life where I this is what I decided. I wanted to have a luxurious life where I could teach and train people all over the world. Uh, and travel. So I, I was very general at first. And then the more I really sort of meditated on it and, and the more God downloaded it to me, I became more and more specific. So I think a lot of times people don't decide because they're like, how can I ever have that? Oh, it, 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 that is perfect, Constance. Yeah, but that's one of the things that you're going to bump into uh, when you start Working with law of attraction, it's like, is you, right off the bat, you're going to get in the house. And what what's happening there, just like Constance said, is like, how is it ever going to happen? Yeah. Well, that's that's right there. That's a limiting belief that is popping into your head right off the bat. How is it ever going to happen for me? Well, it's like, well, God can do anything. Yeah. So it's like, wait, you, you don't, if, if you don't if you don't think God can handle getting you the perfect job, well, you need to work in your faith because. Uh, it can have, you can have absolutely anything you desire, uh, but you need to believe you can. I mean, that's yeah. that's a, a critical thing. It's just like if you don't believe you can, it can be true for you, then it won't be. That's just how it is. Yeah. Okay. So what's the second master key to deliberate creation? Oh, well, you know this one, Constance. Action. And that's. Oh, um, I know you love that one. <laughs> and what I, I do. Yeah. It's like you know. <laughs> here's here's the thing, guys. You, you, you know. Um, it's not like you're going to sit around on your pillow meditating and all the stuff is just going to pop in. Um, no, it's like you need to be proactive. And for me, taking the action is, you know, you know, once you know what you want, then get busy working, you know, working on it spiritually. Like the stuff that I teach in our visual festation system, you know, you get out, the, start scripting, start visualizing this being true. Get into the feeling that uh, of as if. So it's like you don't need to, you know, have that crazy job yet, but you know what? You know it's on its way to you, and you're already you're already living it like it's already happened for you. So yeah, that's the action piece. And it's just like, and the other thing too is besides law of attraction is, you know, if there's something in the physical plane that let's say you want to be let's say you want to be a real estate broker, like I was, and you well obviously you need to sign up for courses. You know, and start studying, and and that's you know, you know, you got to do both parts. You know, you work, you work, on, you're going to work in both the spiritual plane and the physical plane at the same time. And you know, as soon as you start taking action, the universe will meet you halfway. Yeah, no doubt. Well, okay, Pete, what's the third master key to deliberate creation? Okay, Constance, the um, third master key is is focus, and what. I mean by focus is is focusing all of your energies 
and thoughts towards achieving and manifesting whatever it is that you say you desire. And in staying focused on it, even when it looks like everything is not working, um, is, is, is almost – it's almost an art because it can seem like the whole world is crashing around you and your miracle is not happening. But if you stay focused on what you you desire to achieve, you're going to get there. It's just just sometimes weird stuff is going to show up. Um, and it's almost like it's kind of trying to bump you off course. But if you stay focused on the end result of what you desire, you're going to reach that destination. Wouldn't you agree, Constance? Yeah. You know, an example of that would be somebody who might want to release weight, become healthier, and and um, they may get on the scale and it may not look like anything is happening. But uh, staying focused and talking about putting all your thoughts, actions, and feelings into achieving that healthy body is is where you're going to go and not be moved by appearances. Because, you know, Pete, you can really exercise for two or three weeks and then nothing happens. And then the next week you wake up and you're like, oh, my God, I am so fine. It's just like the weight dropped off of you. And so that's a great example of not being moved by appearances. Oh, exactly. And, so, yeah, and staying focused on it uh, until you achieve that ideal weight or that ideal um, dress size, whatever you're going for. Because, uh, you know, I did that before when I was, first started working out. I remember uh, I, I needed to release weight, and I had a pair of jeans that were like, like I guess it, ladies would call them their skinny jeans. Well, uh-huh. yeah, it was like one time in my life, those pants fit, and I never threw them away. And I just kept working out. Watch what I was eating, and before I knew it, um, I was wearing those jeans, and I was just like, "Wow!" But when I first tried them on, when I first uh, decided to to release weight, I couldn't, I couldn't barely get those things up to my knees. It was ridiculous, yeah. and um, and it, it was funny. It really was. I can't believe I'm sharing this on the radio, <laughs> but uh, it, you know, I, I I achieved it, and I stayed with it, and it's just, it's just like. It, Everything in life is like that. It's like, what do you desire to have? You stay focused uh, on on getting it. You will. And don't be moved by appearances, what it looks like, circumstances, et cetera. That's a powerful exactly. master key. And so, P, what's, what's the master key number four for deliberate creation? Uh, the, ma- the fourth master key, Constance, is faith. And when I say faith, what I'm talking about is getting in – to a faith where it's like you're not. Well, I hope this happens. You, you're in a, no. It's done and it's on its way to me. It's already done, and it's just a matter of time before it shows up. And and believing that to be true. And sometimes it's like you know I'll, I'll have some of these ideas back in the old days uh, when I started working with a lot of attraction, and I would say things and people would be like, "This guy's delusional." Well. <laughs> I might be delusional, but you know what? Before I knew it, I, you know, manifest all these wonderful things, and all of a sudden, hey, the crazy guy might have something going on. You know, Pete, I want to say something to you know because I used to work with twelve step groups and people who were in AA and NA, you know, as a therapist, and they used to have a a great point. A lot of people came in and said, "Well, you know, I really can't have faith in God, but I can have faith in this group." So a lot of people may think, "Well, I don't really have a lot of faith in God or Source," but just begin to have faith in the universal laws that I I, I believe that. A universal law will work for anyone who will work it and just begin moving there. And then your faith in God and the universe will expand. Oh, absolutely, Constance. And the biggest thing for everyone who's listening to the show is just like, as you work with these techniques and more and more miracles show up in your life, your faith is just going to grow, you know, naturally uh, until you till you get to the point where it's just like you just know it to be true. And once you know it to be true, you can be grateful for it because you know it's going to show up. And, um, you know, that's that's where you want to have your faith. It's like if, if you want to have faith in, you know, in, in spirit, well, have faith in yourself uh, because – you know, eventually you're, you're gonna wind, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna realize that you really are spirit. So, you know, if you're a miracle machine. Uh, start running it. Well, you know, the interesting thing for me, Pete, you know, 
I have faith in universal laws, but then you have encounters with God or spirit. And so you kind of like got the universal laws right here, but then you have encounters with God or spirit that really increases your faith. Now, everybody has their own personal pathway of what that faith journey would look like for you. But like Pete said, just begin to believe in yourself. Believe that things can shift or happen. That's a great master key. So, so Pete, what about master it, key number? Go ahead, Pete. Okay, yeah, uh, so I was just going to jump ahead to the uh, the next master key, which is consistency, and um, you, you know where I'm going with this oh one. Oh my God, it's your own power. Absolutely, every single day. That's the thing. It's like if you want to win the win the game, you need to show up and practice. And every day that you show up and work with spirit, doing the you know visual festations techniques, um, you know, giving having gratitude now. See, you know, practicing creative visualization. Every day that you do that, it, you're just making your 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 goal or whatever you desire to manifest into your experience that much closer. So, if you want to get results, get consistent. You know, every and I I cannot overemphasize the importance of doing it every single day. And I I think that's one of the greatest reasons why I I am so successful at manifesting things is because I do the work and I do the work every single day. And so you've done your hour of power for how long? I'm get, I got my calculator. Seventeen years. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, 17 years and change. And, I, and honestly, I have never missed a day. Some days are shorter than others. Uh, and even when I travel, I mean, I'll do my hour of power in the if, – if Rob and I travel, I've actually done my hour of power sitting on the, at the edge of the bathtub uh, in the hotel room uh, just so I don't want to wake Rob up when I turn on the light. I mean, that's how crazy I am about it. And, uh, and it works. That's like over – I just calculated this right. I did uh, – 365 times 17 and I got 6,205. That's ridiculous, Pete, but you know something. <laughs> <Ladies> and- <laughs> yeah, well, we'll wait till we're on the show in 10 more years, you know. <laughs> we'll, we'll need a computer, for sure. You know, that is so funny, but but it's not because the deal is it, it's, it's his hour of power, and it's those times. I called you last week, Pete, and you guys were on, on your way to some kind of river to do your hour of power, and Robin sent me a picture of it, and I'm just like, wow, this man every day, and then even yours truly, I mean, every day, if I feel it or not, it's it, the power is in your stillness and in your quiet time. And like you said, the reason that Pete has the results that he has, I mean, you think about it, consistency, that's a powerful master key. It, oh, it absolutely is. And honestly, I I really I couldn't even imagine not doing my hour of power first thing in the morning. I mean, uh, it's it's been su- it's such a part of my life that it I just can't even I couldn't even imagine unless I'm unless I'm dead. If you're looking for me, I'll probably do my hour of power. So <laughs> okay, well, what's your six master key? We got about eight minutes. What's your six okay. master key? All right, I'm trying to pick up the pace here. Okay. Uh, it's awareness. You know, the the the, the six master key is awareness, and essentially, guys. Spirit is always communicating with you, and so sometimes it's not you don't hear like you know a voice in your head. But um, pay attention to your hunches, um, pay attention to your your intuition, because what that what's happening is spirit's trying to communicate with you, and if you listen to what is coming through and take action, um, it's those are always those are always going to be shortcuts for you. So. Um, you know, when they come in, pay attention to them and trust them, and uh, and, and don't don't ignore don't ignore divine information. You know, when it comes in, act upon it because it's coming from spirit, and it's always going to be good for you. Yeah, and 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 it, and I know we got to move on, but anytime you meditate and be still and are aware, it equals profit. Profit in your thinking, profit in your pocketbook, profit in your health, profit in your relationships, etc. That's all I'm saying about it. And the last key is what for deliberate creation, Pete? The last key and probably the most powerful is gratitude. And it's it's gratitude now. Mm-hmm. And have, you know, 
Trust that your miracle's on you on its way, and be happy now. Give thanks now. You don't do not make the mistake of, well, I'll be happy when it shows up because it's never going to show up because you're not grateful. So think about gratitude as being like just crazy magnetic force drawing good things to you uh, because it truly is. The more grateful you you are for what you have right now, the sooner you're going to be grateful for more abundance that is showing up in your life. It's, it's, it's basically, it's, it's like the secret to everything. Gratitude, having gratitude and faith and, um, and saying, just practicing all of the master keys, which to recap or decide action, focus, faith, consistency, awareness and lastly gratitude um i cannot overemphasize the power of gratitude would you like to add anything oh, no. to that one it's just so powerful i think it's one of the it's the master keys to life you know if you can start being grateful Ooh. incredibly grateful and thankful for everything that you have more will come to you it's so powerful what what beautiful well, Pete, so thank you for these seven uh, master keys and, and share with listeners again um, how they can contact you, what your website is, your YouTube channel, and, and remember, and also about their donation to the Think, Believe, and Manifest talk show. Sure. Um, if anyone wants to find us, um, our web address is peterdadams.com, and uh, the D is uh, D as in Delta, which is my middle initial. And uh, we have a great thing out there called Tools for Your Success, which is a, our newsletter. Uh, we also have a Visual Festation YouTube channel, and that's where you can listen to our uh, our books. A visual Festation, both uh, the full audio book in Spanish and English. And you're also out there, you're going to see some uh, new tabs, which is uh, we've created a, a workshop of miracles. It's an online course. Uh, it's Law of Attraction. And, uh, and you guys will have um, bi-weekly access to me directly. So it's almost like a coaching Law of Attraction type program. Mm -hmm. um, we're really excited about it. And we also got some uh, other investing courses coming uh, online as well. Uh, but to recap for uh, the, all the listeners of today of today's show, uh, if, you, if you would donate twenty dollars to Constance Arnold's show through a donate now button, we'll give you the uh, seven master keys, uh, personalized and autograph, and that includes shipping. So um, you tell me, we, we'll just find out what, how you got these books that, um, addressed, and we'll uh, you know if you want to you know to my loving husband or whatever, I'll, I'll write that and uh, get it out to you in the mail. And if you want a visual festation. Uh, we can do that copy as well for 20 bucks and uh, a special deal we're going to do. If you want both, uh, both autographed, we'll uh, do that for a $30 donation. And lastly, uh, for the international listeners or, uh, um, or listeners in the USA who want to have the audio book, uh, for a $15 donation to Constance's show, uh, we'll get you the, uh, the MP3 files for the, um, for the audio book. So um, this is a great show, guys. I really hope you uh, will support Constance. Because it's on show on the Law of Attraction Radio Network. And, uh, you know, she's doing great work and um, she's changed your life, whether you realize it or not. Yeah, thank you, Pete. And uh, like I said, Pete called me and he said, This is what I'm going to do. I'm like, Okay. And uh, thank you, you and Robin, so much for, for your generosity and for your kindness. And uh, everything that's donated to the show would go. Uh, you know, for the show so that I can reach more listeners. And, you know, Pete, that is definitely my heart and my spirit. I want to reach out to people so that they can live an abundant and a prosperous life. And so, so guys, make sure you go to his website and he has all of this info for you. And uh, his new book, The Seven Master Keys, is really very powerful. You know, Pete, we just barely touched the surface you know, on the show, but just, Pete, you know, I just want to tell people what good news this is, because if you would just begin to be consistent working and implementing these master keys, I mean, this time next year or next month, I mean, you won't even recognize your life. And so it's nothing else, but with Beautiful Pete, <laughs> Pete, I love you and Robin. And I always say you married up. Of course, you know that. And uh, absolutely. <laughs> and, 
and uh, she's a powerful woman and even though she's not on the air speaking she's she's partnering with Pete to really create this uh, these phenomenal products and she's such a lovely person so guys uh, you can visit my website at fulfillingyourpurpose.com and uh, email us and if you email me you uh, you can I'll forward it to Pete. Pete, get your email address. What is your email address? Sure. Uh, if, if you guys want to email me, it's just visualfestation at gmail dot com, and um, it, you, you just Google me. You'll you'll find me. It, yeah. And and uh, um, we're really easy to um, to reach out to. And if you have any questions, just send me an email. I I have, I enjoy answering them. He does. He does. And so what happens is once you make your donation, I'm going to forward your email to Pete, and then he and Robin will handle the rest. Wow. This has been a powerful show i'm gonna to listen to it again myself pete so everybody uh as i say every week you may not know it or feel it but the love of god the favor of god surrounds you you and your life and of course you know that i really believe in you and adore you uh and that i believe that the best is yet to come in your life and as i say every week this week believe and say something good is going to happen to me and something good will happen through me this week and deliberately create a purposeful and powerful week. Have a great week. Thank you for listening to Think, Believe, and Manifest. Constance Arnold will be back next week with another great show just for you. For more information, please visit fulfillingyourpurpose.com. What a matchup! And what a team, Mike! Metro PCS and the iPhone SE for $0 on a network that covers 99% of people in the U.S. Oh, impressive! Play with the best. Switch to Metro PCS and get a 32 gig iPhone SE for $0. Metro PCS. Coverage not available in some areas, plus sales tax and $10 activation fee. Claim based on talking tax. Not valid for active numbers currently on a T-Mobile network or active on Metro PCS in the past 90 days. See store for details and terms and conditions.